Hey, what's going on guys? Maji here. This week Jagex released the brand new Big Chinchompa Hunter Distraction and Diversion in the, to the game. This is a members only distraction and diversion with no level requirement, but the moths that you catch will have an increasing level requirements for the better moths up to the gray and the black moths being the best. The rest of the moths are on the screen now along with their level requirements, their XP gains, as well as their point value for catching them. As I mentioned, this is a hunter distraction and diversion. You can repeat this distraction and diversion twice every single day. Um, to start this, you'll need to speak to, I guess that's Myliki in the Tree Gnome Stronghold, which is the location of this is just south of the Gnome Agility Arena. So that's the, probably the easiest way to find it. And there's a portal that will transport you directly to the location on the hour, every hour when it happens. Or you can actually find Nairiki at some of the various hunter locations around the map if you know exactly where to find him. Like I mentioned, the games begin on the hour every hour and they take place on all worlds. This actually transports you into an instance world, sort of like the clan citadels and the crucible and stuff like that. And for the opening day, they increase the limit of these worlds so there could be more people in there. But since the initial rush has now died down, they set the limit back to a, a more reasonable number. So maybe you won't see quite so many people as the content slowly dies off. <laughs> and you're given a jar which will collect up to 15 moths in total. And you get the experience for fitting your jar of moths to the giant chinchampa in the middle of the room in the nest. And the first thing I would recommend is to go to one of the corners and pick one of the flowers there and wield it as it will attract the highest level moth that you can catch. Sometimes you'll catch it, sometimes you don't, but it's definitely useful to have considering the highest moth you can catch by your level requirement is of course the one with the highest point value and the highest experience rewards. So the more of that specific moth you catch, the better for you. But in general, the game seems to be fairly easy. There's trees, sort of like the one I'm showing on the screen now. Some of them will be standing still, while some of them will be shaking. The ones that are shaking contain moths, so you should collect from those. You'll see moths run, fl uh, flying around freely, so you'll need to collect those as well when you see them. And when you get to 15, you won't be able to hold any more moths in your jar, so you'll need to empty them into the nest. It's a pretty straightforward minigame, or distraction and diversion rather, but uh, it's really simple and actually kind of boring, honestly. Um, let's see, what else do I want to mention about this? Um, like, Well, it's pretty straightforward, honestly. If you have any questions, feel free to post down in the comments below, and I'll answer as best that I possibly can, but... Honestly, for the experience you get for this, it's really not that hard. Uh, there's actually a completionist cape requirement to get 1,111 points in one round. Um, that's really not all that hard to do. Just catch everything you come across. Uh, have the flower in your inventory, or I mean, have it wielded and catch all the, the moss that you get while running around automatically because of the flower, as well as gather all the ones off the trees, all the ones that you see floating around and dump them into the chinchampa and you shouldn't have any problem reaching the 1111 uh, limit for the completion escape. Uh, I got it the first game that I tried actually very easily surpassed it honestly but um, yeah like I mentioned it's a pretty straightforward simple distraction and diversion the experience isn't really all that great so um, I wouldn't exactly recommend doing it unless you just absolutely want to. It's, it is free and fairly easy hunter experience and you're not really competing against other people quite so much. Um, but yeah, for the rewards of the minigame, there is a collection of quota tickets. One for Swamp Lizard, which costs 4 points, Carnivorous Chinchampa, which costs 6 points, a Polya quota ticket, which costs 8 points, Polar Kebet quota ticket, which is 15 points, and the Grimwall Quota Ticket, which is 10 points. These tickets can be used to enter the other uh, five portals in the Gnome, Tree Gnome Stronghold. Each of these portals will teleport you to a non-private private hunter spot. The reason I call it that is because it's not exactly the private hunter locations they were suggesting. 
like since other people can just follow you in there anyway it kind of that seems to be a bit of a ripoff I'm not sure if it was intended to work that way or if that's a bug but for right now it's not really as private as it led on to be so I'm highly disappointed in that but each ticket will grant you the ability to catch one of the animals within their location so if you have say 200 polar cabot quota tickets you'll be able to catch 200 polar cabots before you can no longer catch anymore <clears throat> for the rest of the rewards there's a cosmetic flower which costs one point which right now I don't really see the point of considering if you take uh, get one of the flowers during the game itself it seems to come out of the game with you and be cosmetic anyway so it's a little bit pointless to offer that as a reward as well I'm not sure if that's a bug or if it's meant to be that way but it's a little bit pointless in my opinion you can buy also swamp toads for 24 points flax for two points swamp tar for eight points or one hunter experience point for one point so it's a one-to-one -one ratio for the experience so if you get say a thousand points in one game you can get a thousand hunter experience I think the first game that I did I got like 26k hunter experience while doing the mini game in about 17 16 to 17 minutes before the chin chomp in the middle fell asleep so the experience rates really aren't that good and as for the private hunter spots the experience you gain from them aren't really all that great either so it's really up to you if you want to do this distraction in the version but honestly it's one of those kinds that will more than likely be dead content within a few days in my opinion um, it pretty much already is dead for me anyway but in t celebration of this new hunter update all four tiers of the tracker aura are now 30 percent off in the loyalty shop so feel free if you want to to go grab some of those if you wish for the patch notes this week there's not really all that many so I'm not really gonna cover them you can check the quick find code down in the description of this video but one of the most important ones that I mentioned before is the navigation bar in the runescape client will no longer show the subscribe button to members and it now will also remember it's setting a little bit more reliably which means you won't have to toggle it on and off so much I haven't personally tried it but um, it, I mean, it can't be any worse than what it was where you would toggle it off and then as soon as you logged into the lobby it was back magically so maybe they finally did fix that I'm hoping somebody can confirm that but I don't really know and the only other thing to talk about this week is of course an update to the Solomon store you can now buy 50 bank spaces for I th it was like 300 something it's called a bank booster plus 50 but yeah I don't really agree with selling bank space in the game like this so I'm not gonna cover that I'll actually save that for another video so that pretty much covers everything I wanted to discuss about this update if you have any comments of course leave them below hit the like button below the video if you liked it it really helps me out you guys have absolutely no idea just how much it does for more content like in this in the future hit that subscribe button and if you want to check out one of the other two videos on the screen thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next week